I'm beyond excited today to talk about my two favorite new bidet seats to the US and Canadian market. We're gonna cover everything you could imagine for these seats. Sleekness factor, wash range, special washes, front wash, comfort of the seat, lid design, quality of build, remote control, auto opening, pre-misting, self-cleaning, sterilization, auto flushing, user presets, controlling it without a remote, installation, kid friendliness, noises, and more. Because this comparison is so exciting and important to us, we sent these seats out to our staff to give us their feedback as well. So for the first time, you're getting feedback from a variety of experts in the field when we run this comparison. It's important to note that we love the EcoNova so much that we partnered with Nova Bidet to bring the Ultra Nova to market. Despite that, we're trying our best here to offer a complete non-biased analysis of these two seats and how they compare against one another. As you'll find out as you watch this video, neither of these seats is perfect for everyone. If you're wondering which of these two seats is the right fit for your home and this comparison doesn't give you enough to go off of, please feel free to reach out to our support team. You can do that via our website, via phone, email, text, or live chat. Information is in the video description. We're happy to help. This is gonna be a long video. So if you have a specific feature you're curious about, check out the chapters below and jump to the feature that you want to see compared to save yourself some time. Here's a quick snapshot before we jump in. If you're looking for a wide range of wash pressures, the furthest reaching front wash on the market and the cord and hose hidden on the seat, the Toto is the way to go. Or if you want a sitable lid, lowest profile on the market, enema wash, hot and cold wash, and a remote that's not going to have issues regardless of the bathroom you put it in, the Ultra Nova is the seat we'd recommend. My name is Daniel Johnson. I'm the owner and founder of ManyBidets.com, where you can get expert advice on all things bidets. So which of these is going to look best in your bathroom? It depends. If you've already got a toilet in place and you're looking to put a bidet seat on top of it, we highly recommend the Ultra Nova simply because it is the sleekest, slimmest profile of any seat on the market today. However, if you're getting a new toilet, the Toto is a great option. The reason for this is that you can pair it with a Toto toilet that has a corridor to hide the cord in the hose, making it a really slick setup. If you wanna see what options you have for a toilet bidet combination from Toto, check out our website. A link will be in the description. They're called Washlet Pluses, and we have a unique setup that allows you to select exactly what you need on a single page. Again, check out the video description. When it comes to bidets, the wash is important. So let's talk about the washes of these two seats. Toto offers a fantastic wash range from a softness that's maybe not even functional to a powerful wash that definitely gets the job done. It also has a really fantastic reach for your front wash, better than any other seat that we've tried. So if you've tried seats in the past and you found that they're too harsh and you really want something that's very soft, the Toto is gonna fit the bill. On the other hand, the Ultra Nova has a really good high-end pressure and a decent low-end pressure, but not nearly as low as what you're gonna get with the Toto. It also has a great enema wash. Our staff reported that it's the best enema wash they've tried to date, even beating out seats like the BioBidet BB2000. The hot cold oscillating wash is a wash that's really going to help with soothing any tender areas. And our staff was skeptical about this feature up front, but reported back that they all loved it once they got a chance to try it, and it surprised them how much they appreciated this feature. Because the Ultra at its highest point is only 3.66 inches, it gives you the ability to sit very far back on the seat. On top of that, the D shape in the front gives you a lot of sitable room. Because of that, all of our staff agreed that the Ultra Nova is the most comfortable bidet seat they've ever sat on. Pair that with the lipless design that's not going to cut into your back if you lean back and looks really, really slick when down, it's a great option. Along with that, the remote control on the Ultra Nova is a stainless steel remote that feels really, really good in your hands and the entire thing just feels really high quality. 
Toto is also known for making high quality products. However, our staff found that the sitable space and the comfort of the Toto was definitely inferior to the Ultra Nova. And I can speak from having experience with both the Toto S550 and the Toto S7A that the S7A does feel smaller and a little bit more cheaply made than the Toto S550. The remote control also feels cheaper. Some of our staff liked the fact that it was white and said that they felt like it would fit with the aesthetics of most bathrooms, while others of our staff said that it felt cheap. My personal opinion is that it does feel a little bit cheap and I would have preferred if they had stuck with the previous generation's design on the remote. Speaking of remotes, it's important to note that the Toto remote has a few more options on it. If you look at the back of the remote, there are a ton of additional features there. This is both a pro and a con. It gives you a little bit more space on the remote. However, if you're picking up the remote to operate the back of the remote, some of our staff found that they accidentally press buttons on either the front or the back of the remote when trying to select those options. The Toto remote also operates on an infrared signal, which means that if you have dark walls or fabrics, towels, etc., those can absorb the signal, making it hard for the remote to reach the seat. This can also be true if you're in a very tight bathroom. It's important to note that this problem, while we do see it happen, doesn't happen frequently. The remote for the Ultranova, on the other hand, only has buttons on two sides, top and front. This means it has a few less options. Some of the buttons are multifunction, but it does make it easier to operate because you're not accidentally pressing buttons when you're taking it off the wall mount to operate. The Ultra Nova's remote also operates on a radio frequency, which means that dark walls, items in the bathroom, or a small bathroom space has no bearing on whether or not the signal makes it to the seat, making it a more reliable functioning remote. Both of these seats have auto opening lids, opening the lids when they sense motion. The lids will also auto close when you leave the bathroom. Both of these remotes also have a button on them for a hands-free lift of the lid or close of the lid. The Toto takes it a step further with a button that also allows hands-free lifting of the seat or hands-free closing of the seat. Either of these units also offers the option to disable the auto opening of the lid. However, both of these units are going to auto close when you leave the bathroom, regardless of whether or not auto opening is disabled or not. That being said, when the lid auto closes, the seat is also going to auto close on either of these units. So you never have to worry again about falling into the toilet because someone left the seat up. Pre-misting is a feature that Toto pioneered as a great way to keep your toilet bowl clean. Water mists out of the bidet seat to coat the toilet with water to keep debris from sticking. With the latest generation of Toto products, the underside of the seat also gets pre-misted to keep that as clean as possible. One of our staff members did report that them and their family had pre-misting on their back end when they sat down to use the toilet, which was greatly unappreciated. However, everyone else that tried it did not experience this. The Ultra Nova, on the other hand, does not offer a pre-misting functionality. So if you experience leftovers after the toilet flushes, uh, the Toto might be the right option to choose. Both of these seats offer a self-cleaning function where they run water over and through the nozzle before and after each use. The way that that is handled is a little bit different between the two. The Toto does that wash process when you first walk into the room and the lid auto opens, and it uses e-water in order to do that, which is a water that is sterilized with a small charge of electricity. The Ultra Nova, on the other hand, runs self-cleaning on the nozzle when you press a button to start a wash and it uses silver nano sterilization. Our staff reported really liking the fact that the self-cleaning runs when you press a wash button, which is unlike any seat that we've tried to date. The reason for this? Well, with the sleek design of the seat, coupled with the fact that the wash is what triggers the self-cleaning, makes it so that a guest can come in, use the toilet, and may not even realize that it's a bidet. Whereas with the Toto, they walk into the bathroom and they instantly hear running water from the self-cleaning. All of these automated functions, while nice, can be a little bit overwhelming to a guest who comes in to use your bathroom and isn't expecting a bidet. Auto flushing is a rarity with bidet seats, but both of these units offer it. 
with Toto. If you pair the seat with a Washlet Plus toilet, i.e. a Toto toilet that's designed to work with it, you can get a kit that will allow for auto flushing. This auto flushing functionality will also work with a single or dual flush setup depending on the Washlet Plus toilet that you pair it with. However, it's important to note that the Toto Bidet will not offer auto flush functionality if paired with a non-Toto toilet. The Ultranova, on the other hand, has two versions, a Ultranova and an Ultranova Plus. The Ultranova Plus version offers auto flushing, but only with top flush buttons. If you have a side flush toilet, it's not going to work but it should work with any top flush button toilet regardless of the brand. So which of these two is gonna work for you if you want automated flushing? It really depends on your toilet situation. Both of these seats also offer user presets. On their latest generation, Toto upped the user presets from two to four, whereas the Ultranova only has two user presets. These are great for saving settings in the seat. If you want to have a custom wash pressure, wash temperature, nozzle position, save those in the seat for next time you come to use it. In order to select a preset on either of these, you need to select either the rear or front wash, followed by the preset option in order to select the applicable preset. While we've covered the big items, there are a few other things to take into consideration. With the Toto unit, the remote control is the only way to operate the seat. So if you run out of batteries, you drop the remote, or you lose the remote, you no longer have a way to operate the seat. On the other hand, with the Ultra Nova, all of the functions are easy to operate with the side knob and the side buttons. So if you lose the remote, drop the remote, or it runs out of batteries, the Ultra Nova is still fully functional. We got some mixed reviews as it relates to the installation of both of these. One of our staff members stated that the Ultra Nova was hard to snap into the mounting plate, while others said that they had no issue with it. The Toto, on the other hand, while it was very easy to install, all of our staff members stated that the instruction manual for the installation was as convoluted as anything they had ever seen. That being said, both of these are do-it-yourself projects, and if you have any concerns, check out our installation videos for both of them, links in the video description, and you will be well equipped to handle the entire process. It might seem like a little thing, but the sensors on these seats are different. So if you're new to bidets, the seat sensor says whether or not you're seated on the unit, senses skin contact, and only operates if you are seated. The Ultra Nova is like every other seat on the market, where it's on the left-hand side, right up here in front, whereas the Toto is over here on the right-hand side. The Ultra Nova also has a larger sitable space, so one of our staff members found that their kids, under eight years old, had issues keeping that seat sensor activated, which meant that the wash would stop mid-wash. All of our other staff members, multiple of which had kids under eight who used it, myself included, you'll see my kid at the end of the video, did not have this issue with the Ultra Nova. It's also important to note that while we had one staff member with a child that had an issue with the seat sensor on the Ultra Nova, none of our staff members had a child that had an issue with the seat sensor on the Toto. Both of these units offer auditory feedback when something happens with the seat. With the Ultra Nova, this only happens when you come into contact with it. You walk into the room, the lid opens, you sit down or you run a wash. With the Toto, this is going to happen not only when you come into contact with it, but also at random times during the day or night if the seat feels like the nozzle needs a good cleaning. This auditory feedback comes in the form of a beep and can be turned off with the remote if needed. However, with the Toto, you're still going to have the sound of the self-cleaning running through the day or the night. And while most of our customers have not experienced an issue with that, a few of our customers have reported that in the master bath, that can disturb sleep. No comparison would be complete without talking about quality of build. Both of these units are made out of polypropylene plastic, which is our plastic of choice because it's durable, it's flexible, and it's very, very unlikely to break. However, a lot of our staff members found that with the Toto unit, there were creaking noises as you sat down, Whereas with the Ultra Nova, no one reported any such noises. It's also important to note that the Ultra Nova has a sitable lid that supports up to 450 pounds, 
whereas the Toto does not have a lid that you can sit on. For the seat itself, we're looking at 330 pounds for the Toto and 450 pounds for the Ultra. That being said, for both of these units, we expect very long lifespans and we don't expect you to have any issues for a long time to come. The Toto unit does come with a one year full warranty. The Ultra Nova comes with a one year full warranty as well that's upgradable to three years. Some dealers will automatically throw in that three year warranty for you. So which of these units is the best luxury bidet seat on the market? It depends on who you ask. As you know, we've given these units to our staff and some of our staff said the Toto unit wins out. Others said the Ultra Nova wins out. It really depends on what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a seat that offers the widest pressure range, the furthest reaching front wash, the pre-misting, and four user presets for four individuals in your home, the Toto is very likely the seat that you should choose. On the other hand, if you're looking for an enema wash, a hot cold massage wash, a sitable lid, a really comfortable seat, and the sleekest unit on the market, the Ultra Nova is the seat for you. Still not sure which one you should choose? Keep in mind that our staff are experts in the field and most of them have tried out both of these units. So reach out to us, check out our website at minibidets.com and talk to us so that we can help you pick the best seat for your needs. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Minibidets.com, where we sell minibidets, not minibidets.